Lucha. Uba Unefer, beautiful existence rising. Here we are at the Light Being Wellness Center. It is Mercury retrograde. It's the new moon. It's almost time for the equinox. And it's time for another Kematones Cosmic Sound Healing Self Care Session. And I'm really looking forward to um, getting back going live with the Good Rising TV. So for today, we're just going to do a quick run through through some of these tuning forks that are associated with this celestial event. We have um, uh, the Mercury forks, also known as the Jehuti, because Mercury retrograde is the portal of Jehuti opening. And we have the uh, Neptune forks for Nebuchadnezzar. So we have Jehuti and Nebuchadnezzar for Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius Pisces. Then we have uh, the New Moon for Shishetta in Kuarku, Sagittarius Aquarius. And for some of the things we're working with, we have Sedna for dealing with trauma, and Asar or Pluto for transformation, and of course Anpu or the Zodiac Forks for uh, removing toxic energy blockages. So in this session, I'm going to be focusing on the tuning forks, but if you want more detailed information on the celestial event, you are directed to the Horoscopes blog post at tachia.wordpress.com, then the date, <laughs> then march dash jihuti dash portal dash opening. And there'll be a direct link someplace on this page. So we are instructed that uh, during this time, it's highly advised to focus on purifying one's heart of regrets, longings, sadness, old unfulfilled desires that no longer serve your highest good. Or at least when these feelings arise, find a harmonious way to release and express them. Whatever you have been doing about this in the past must not be working, <laughs> working too great. So if you're still being triggered a lot, now is the time to find a new release or to find a way to change your thought patterns when the crucial moment arrives. Now, when I wrote this out, you know, I was just like following the guidance of the planets and the netters, and then the situation came where I had to, where luckily I could follow my own guidance. And um, it's just, it just really amazes me every time that happens. Okay, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the um, creativity chakra, heart chakra, of course the throat for our communications. First eye and Chiron. I think Chiron moves into Mars tomorrow, so I may have another report. But for now, we're focusing on the Jehudi portal opening that will stay open until March 28th. So, yes, I have some issues and baggage that's been coming up a lot lately, and some of it actually has to do with my website and attachment to the way I wanted things to be and how they were supposed to be like 20 years ago. And I just having to just, you know, let go of all that and practically start from scratch. I've been working at this for a long time and I feel like um, I'm finally gonna catch up to the technology advances. But one of my friends, a website designer, she was telling me about a movie, San Sarah, about the Tibetan monks, I think they're Tibetan monks, who do the sand sand work and, and sand sculptures, and then they work on it for months, or I don't know how long, and then they just wash it away, just brush it aside. So that's really what I'm focusing on during this um, portal opening, is up-leveling all my communications and the web presence, so I could do a better job of serving the community. Because I feel like I'm just constantly, you know, trying to fix the website. Or uh, sending out messages. 
you know, these are all things with uh, with Jehuti and communication. Okay, so a little bit to take that in. So having some heaviness with emotions around certain things as well. So just uh, bring my aura, whatever's causing confusion. And letting go. It's all about cat gab. Let go. Let it go. Let it go. And um, some transformation for dealing with the grief and the sadness from the loss I've been holding on to for a while. It's like I'm still trying to get things to be the way they were rather than being present with where they are. Yeah, that's basically what it is. And the standards, that's what it is. The standards have changed. Everything's changed. The standards, the values. But I'm still, like, trying to manifest the other standards and the other values. It's just grief and sadness. are the ones for grief. So transformation from the sadness and the sad thoughts and longings. All right. I uh, know you can't see the penny, you can't see the penny for the uh, extraordinary vessels on the feet. So I post the chart. But right now I'm going to work on the dye my for when you're stuck in a situation or vibration, frustration, you know, you just gotta release the energy from whatever traumatized you that got you frozen there. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to start the baby too. Oh, okay. It's difficult doing self care. The blues and the greens and the purples. I have this new bracelet. They're the same colors as my bracelets. And I want to remove whatever negativity is, negative emotions that are trapped. See? Negative emotions that are trapped. And, and the other extraordinary vessel I'm going to do is the Yang Wei for when there's something that's um, like a pathogen or a virus or a cold or a negative fractal pattern that's just been on replay <laughs> for 50 years. <laughs> um, something that's like deeply lodged in that you haven't been able to let go of. This is an extraordinary vessel that's supposed to be able to like even get that out. And it just so happens to be the exact opposite of the one that I just did. So you see here we've got um, Heru and Asar. So that's got to be powerful.
on the energy field. We've got Chihuti and Nevitat, or Mercury and Sidereal Pisces. We're being able to express our emotions in a positive way. Feelings we can't control, but we can't exp we can't control how we express them. Shetta in Kuraku. And you can read the details um, at the website. But in a nutshell, or a nutshell, <laughs> um, Shetta is a cosmic scribe, so it's about writing, right? And we're dealing with our emotions. And the moon is mostly about uh, how we can improve our personality and character through certain these, these activities and procedures. And so one of the best ways is to write as a journal. So each moon is in a different sign and that sign is an indication of what you, you know, could focus on with your journal writing. So this month, the moon, Shesheta, is in the sign of Kuraku, Sideo Aquarius, which is um, connected to Heru the uh, victory of the soul, the redeemer. Um, like I say, I'm not gonna go in detail. You can visit the um, hedoscopes.com for the uh, e-guide. Um, but that's basically what we're dealing with here. Freedom from our negative emotions. Freedom from our sadness and pain. Freedom from holding on to grief and emotional baggage, emotional burdens. Just cack it out, let it go. All right. So that is our Kimitones Cosmic Sound Healing Self Care Session for. The March Portal of Jehuti opening, New Moon, or uh, Mercury Retrograde, and Shesheta in Kuharku. So be sure to check out the Hadoscopes analysis, and also stay tuned for the Ancient African Adorations healing chants for Mercury Retrograde and the New Moon. Hatem.